It's Tangible Lisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I was just uh, tracking some lightning strikes in the vicinity. I'm nowhere near considering being on the air. My antenna is down and disconnected from the radio. I was more concerned about the possibility of a near strike causing a power failure and other disruptions and was preparing for the possibility of having to do without power. It seems that power outages occur quite frequently here in the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of adverse weather. We did have a hail storm. The core of the storm missed us. Uh, we only got about pea-sized hail but they did have some places where it got as big as ping pong balls. That'll dent your car if it's not made of titanium. But I uh, was tracking that lightning and here is the website and I'll include it in the description of this video in a form so it won't look like a link and won't misguide you or be hackable in that sense. Lightningmaps.org all lowercase, all one word, lightning maps, then dot org. If you go there, you can track lightning strikes in real time over quite a lot of the Earth's surface. And you can zoom in and you can find out. Sometimes you can even see the pop appear on the map. And if it's close enough to you, you can hear the thunder a couple of seconds later. It's right up to the second. A really great way to track lightning and if, uh, and especially if you are concerned in any way about the possibility of nearby lightning strikes in your area. Extremely useful to ham radio operators, shortwave listeners, and then anybody else who is concerned about potential damage to sensitive equipment, outdoor antennas, and the like. Stangibalisco signing off, saying 73 and so long, which, in my native fist, of course, will always translate to da-da-da-da-da-da. -da 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 -da.